You're about to learn why it's a really bad idea to play it cool with a man that you're dating. You're going to attract the wrong kind of men, and you're going to attract the wrong kind of behaviors from men. Hello, I am Zach Rohde, and welcome to Relationship of Your Dreams. On this channel, I show you how to inspire a man to step up, be the man that you need, cherish you, and love and honor your feelings. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, and be sure to hit like on this video. All right, so when it comes to attracting a man, specifically a masculine man, playing it cool is a strategy that many women have been unfortunately told uh, something that they should do when it's one of the worst things that they can do. So I'm going to spell this out for you. What, what am I talking about playing it cool? I mean, being reserved, being more closed off, not really sharing how you actually feel about him, that you really like him, that you're attracted to him. You're not communicating that. You're being more quiet about it. You're just waiting for him to show a lot more interest. This strategy is understandable. I get it. A lot of women are currently promoting this as the way to date a man, to attract a man. And the re here's why. I'm going to tell you why. It's because women have, earlier on in their dating life, have shared their heart with a man, opened up, shared what they were feeling, that they were attracted to him in some kind of way. Not necessarily saying I'm attracted to you, but they're, they're letting it known how they feel. And the man gets kind of scared off. He starts getting cold. He goes more distant. And the woman learns a lesson from this. She learns, okay, this is not the thing to do to attract a man. If I want to attract a man, I need to not share what I'm really feeling. I need to be more closed off until he becomes really interested in me. So what is that? That's a form of manipulation. And here's the thing. Playing it cool does work. You do succeed in a certain way if you do it right. What happens? You do attract more men and you get men really interested in you. The problem is, what kind of men are you attracting? You will attract men who have mommy issues. Men whose moms, uh, typically, it could be something else, but they're going to have wounds. And it's typically going to be around uh, a, a mother who did not give that son the love and openness and care that he needed to become a really healthy, strong, devotional, masculine man. And so now, by you being more reserved and more closed off, you're going to attract those kind of men where that behavior from a woman is comfortable. They're basically recreating their childhood in a way. And the question is, is that the kind of man that you want? You might get a lot of those men interested in you. They might chase you. They might even do what we could call providing, like paying for dates and you know, making you feel really special and pursuing you in all these kind of ways and complimenting you. But is it coming from their power? Is it coming from their authentic truth? Is it coming from their masculine self-worth? No. It's coming from a lack of self-worth. And they are trying to be worthy enough by doing all of these things for you, by people pleasing, by complimenting you. And what are you going to feel around these men? Are you going to feel super attracted? Are you going to feel horny? Are you going to want to eventually sleep with them? Are you going to want to be in a relationship with them? Are you going to want to be their wife? Probably not. Right? That attraction and, and the attraction and connection is just not going to be where you want it to be. Because those men aren't really that healthy. They're not really in their healthy masculine energy. You might get a lot of their attention. You might get a lot of offers to uh, be their girlfriend. But if it's not the kind of man that you want, then how valuable is that? And in the meantime, while you're, you're, if you were to get more successful with those kind of men, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be repelling the men that you actually want and need and are really deeply attracted to. The kind of men that know how to lead, who know how to step up, who are, are great at taking charge, who love taking care of you from a place of power and strength, where it's true devotion. They might not even be in your orbit. 
You might not be in your energy field because your energy is just more closed off in general, not just on the date, but just in general, you're playing it cool. That might start on the online dating profile or when you go out to a bar or to anywhere, to the grocery store. You're just more closed off, you're more reserved. And if a man were to talk to you, you might show that less interest than you're actually feeling. Masculine men. I'm going to tell you what masculine men want. How great is that? Before I talk about what masculine men want, if you have not been to our Polarity Masterclass yet, this is the time. We got one coming up in four days as of the time of this video. It might be three days. Oh, it's three days. And we are going to teach you exactly what a masculine man wants, what he's attracted to, what he's inspired by. Whether you're a single woman or in a relationship, you're going to learn how to inspire a man without even trying. Just by letting go of control, just by sharing your heart. You're going to inspire him into stepping up, into taking care of you, into giving you everything that you need, into being a better man for you. That's polaritymasterclass.com. And I got all my links below in the description, so make sure you check them out. Polarity Masterclass is one of them. I want to see you there because we can help you really shift in the right direction and do so much better in your love life. Okay, so masculine men. What does a masculine man want? A masculine man wants a woman who is fully honest about what she's feeling towards him, both the good and the bad. Okay, this one, this video, we're going to talk more about the good, but he wants to know how you feel. He wants to know if you're feeling attraction towards him. He wants to know how much he's emotionally affecting you. He wants to know how much you are into him. That's going to inspire him. It's also going to, it's going to turn on his instinct uh, to cherish you. Also, it's going to turn him on like sexually. That's okay. <laughs> that, that's a good thing. I wouldn't encourage you to have sex with him right away, but it is a good thing to, to turn him on in that way. Um, because a healthy man is turned on by a woman who likes him, who's attracted to him, who's also turned on by him, right? Isn't that normal, don't you think? The problem is, is that most women are, when they feel that way, when they really like a man, they go into kind of needy behaviors. There's nothing wrong with feeling needy. Yeah, it's a beautiful feeling. Every feeling is beautiful in a woman. But if you go into needy behaviors, needy communication, <clears throat> if you put your feelings onto him, if you start people pleasing in any kind of way, if you start fawning, all of that stuff is because you like him, but you're dealing with those feelings in a, an unhealthy way. And it's how you're dealing with it that turns him off. It's not that you're feeling those feelings that turns him off. It's totally different. It's totally different. But you're learning the wrong lesson by thinking that the issue is that the, the problem is that you like him and that you're showing it. No, it's just how you're showing it because you're showing it in a really unhealthy way. There's a way to do it in a beautiful way that inspires him so much. I'm a man who has dated many, many women. And I have seen everything on the spectrum. I've seen women who are much more reserved, more closed off, either because they're just shy of showing who they are or they're playing some kind of game in some kind of way, even though I was being very transparent myself. That turned me off every time. That would turn me off. The women that inspired me the most, that attracted me the most, that made me want to spend more time with them, to set up more dates, that made me think of them, when I wasn't around them that made me want to text them more often, communicate with them more often, get on the phone with them more often, were the ones that were fully transparent about how much I was positively affecting them. The ones that would basically tell me how attracted they are to me. The ones that would tell me basically that they really liked me, that they were really, really into me. But they're doing it in the right kind of way. Not in a way that pushes me away, in the way that pulls me in. And makes me even more honest and more transparent. That's the kind of woman that you want to be, right? Like you don't want to play games with a man. That doesn't feel good to play any kind of games. To, to hide who you really are. To hide your heart. And of course, a lot of the reason that you're hiding your heart, you just don't want to get hurt. You don't want to be abandoned again. So it's like, there's no blame in this. I understand why you're doing it. Of course, of course you're doing it for self-protection. But... The problem is you're actually going to create a self-fulfilling prophecy by trying to protect yourself, by trying to play it cool, by trying to be more reserved. And you're going to, at least with the men that you really want, 
they are going to abandon you. They are going to reject you or they're not even going to come into your field in the first place. And you're going to attract the wrong kind of men that ultimately it's not going to work out with long term because they're not going to be able to give you what you need. Now, I'm going to give you one last thing to contemplate to really close all this up. So when you are dating a man and you really like him, are you more attracted to him and more connected to him when he is really reserved and playing it cool and like you don't even really know if he likes you or not? Or do you like him more and are attracted to him more and more connected to him when he is fully in his power and he's telling you exactly how much he likes you? He's very transparent about it, but he's doing it in a powerful way, not in a needy way, not in a people pleasing way, not in a uh, insecure kind of way. He's just fully bold and, and letting you know like, hey, you're amazing. We're going to be spending more time together. I think you're fantastic. This, uh, this is, I really love this about you, right? So, so, and, and he's just strong in that. Now, if you got a lot of wounding, certain wounding, you actually might want the man who's more cold and closed off, right? Because that might be more comfortable because that was more similar to your childhood. And if so, those are wounds that you have to heal. But a healthier woman, you're going to want the kind of man who's just fully in his power and telling you the truth. You're not going to want the man who's telling you the truth about how much he likes you, but he's all needy and clingy and insecure about it, right? <laughs> it's the same thing for men, though. Understand, it's the same thing for men, what a man's attracted to. It's just, yes, there is a different way for a woman to communicate it in a really feminine, vulnerable way, but it's essentially the same. It's like a healthy person's not going to be attracted to someone who is hiding themselves or is needy, insecure, and clingy and showing that in an unhealthy way. They're going to be the most attracted to a person who is fully real, who is communicating exactly how much they like you, the, the person, in a mature, responsible, honest, authentic way. And isn't that liberating? Isn't that liberating that you can actually play no games and be fully real with a man and get the kind of man that you want? It's going to be scary, might be t terrifying for you, but it's liberating at the same time. And I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to shift your communication and shift your energy and shift your behaviors in a way that is truly authentic for you and does inspire a man into wanting to take care of you. And the best way to get started with learning that from me is to join one of my master classes. And the next one, like I said earlier in this video, it's coming up in three days. Make sure that you uh, go to PlaritiMasterclass.com and sign up for it if you can attend at that time. PlaritiMasterclass.com. Uh, all of our links are below in the description, below this video. Make sure you check them all out, but, but this one is the time sensitive one. So if you can attend, make sure that you attend. And I will see you there. We're gonna We're gonna teach you how to get way better results with men. If you're single, we'll, we'll teach you how to attract a masculine man and how to get him to want to claim you, cherish you. And if you're in a relationship, you're going to learn how to turn your relationship issues around. You're going to learn how to stop any kind of conflict, uh, have him interested in listening to your feelings, caring about your feelings, have him step up, unburden you, make plans, all of that stuff. ClarityMasterclass.com. I'll see you there. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to completely change the way that you think about men, understand men, and uh, it's going to help you inspire men to take care of you. That's it for this one.